Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today we're just going to do a very brief video looking at manually installing icon packs and cursor packs. Now, we're going to be doing this on Cinnamon, uh, specifically Linux Mint Cinnamon. The process is going to be essentially similar for any desktop and you know, a little a uh, little couple nuances. In general, you can manually install an icon pack if you were to get the folder and the icons by dropping them into the icons folder either under the system or under the user. And there's one more thing you need to do on Cinnamon so that you can actually see the previews in the proper place. So we're gonna be covering all of those areas here. So what we're going to do is let's just head on over to Linux Mint. And uh, what I did here is I just kind of pulled up some icon theme packs. You can actually see I have this clear oxygen, uh, blue oxygen theme pack. Uh, let me close GIMP down. And I think I still have the archive manager is still open from one of these things. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some of the issues that we're dealing with. So inside of our settings and themes, we only have a limited number of items to choose from. Now, when you go into the add remove, you can go ahead and update your themes. Now, if you're using KDE Plasma, you can add new icons utilizing this feature here as well. But in general, the Linux Mint does, in, does entire themes. So Cinnamon, I should say, does entire themes. Now that theme pack may or may not include some new icons and some new cursors. If they do, they will appear in these areas. Now, we are not gonna talk about the window borders or the controls or the overall desktop theme in this one. Those will require some extra CSS and a few other steps. What we are gonna be looking at is icons and mouse pointers which for most desktops are going to be the same basic general installation. Now, of course, if you get online and you're looking up how to install these various things, you can find things like PPAs and basic install scripts, and that's okay. But uh, sometimes you might want to, you might find an icon pack that you don't necessarily have, have that install script, or you just wanna know how does this work and what ends up happening. So that's kind of what we're going to be covering. So there's a few places where you can go to find themes that are probably a little bit more safer, like uh, gnomelook.org is a good place. This will have cursor packs. It'll have um, uh, icon packs, uh, various themes. I believe there's even uh, cinnamon themes in here as well. So you can search for a variety of different theming options and things inside of your uh, inside of your system and then just figure out what you like and download and install them. All right, so let's go ahead and just have a look. So we'll go ahead and click through on the main page on the cursors and let's just find something. Oop, I kicked, <laughs> clicked the Cairo clocks. All right, uh, let's go down here to cursors. Now I want to find things that are that will stand out a little bit so we can actually see what the differences are. And of course I've already downloaded some of them. So like I downloaded this Venom cursor. We might just go ahead and, uh, and use one of those. So let's just say we want this one here. We're going to go down to download. Now you see there's an install and a download. These are leading us to the same place in this case. Uh, some of these might actually have an entire installation script. That's okay as well. But again, we're doing things manually. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the download. And usually what I'm going to do here is rather than saving this whole file, I'm just going to go ahead and open it in the archive manager. So here's the icons, and we're going to drop this onto the desktop. Uh, let me go ahead and change my desktop so that it is not uh, auto-arranging because I actually find that a little annoying. All right, and this is definitely a bad cursor to use with my background, so maybe this blue glow is better. So open this guy up, and this is kind of what we see. So we see this index.theme. This, uh, this is a theme file. It will open up in a basic text editor. You can see it's just giving us the name Blue Flame. And then we have these variety of different icons. So if you were to open these up, uh, these are actually just different icons from different pixel sizes. So the reason you have all these different ones is some of them like uh, over here on this side, you can see that these are the, your smaller ones and then your larger ones will be whatever are used for larger applications. 
So you can see that's what this cursor looks like. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to be installing. Now, when you are installing things in Linux, and this actually applies to fonts as well, if you want to install them in the for all users, so say I have multiple users on this system, then you want to go into your file system and under USR is where you're going to want to install things. USR and then share. Now, the icons and the cursors will both go into a folder that is called icons. So if you open this guy up, these are all of the different icons that have been installed. And you'll notice that we have folders and we have cursor packs. So DMZ black, DMZ white are the two basic cursor packs installed on Linux Mint Cinnamon. Uh, Mint Y Blue, this is actually your um, this is actually your icon places uh, rather than your cursors. Again, both cursors and icon packs both go into here. All right. So here's Venom. This is actually one that I installed into the system level. Now, um, what we're going to do uh, to install them here in the GUI, we would actually have to come into here as a root user. So if you just find your icon folder, right click, open as root, enter your root password, and you'll now have this red bar indicating elevated privileges. Now I can install an icon pack into here, and if I install it here, it will be available for all users. So this is what uh, USR Share Icons makes it available to all users. If I'm only wanting to make this available just to my individual user, then when you just go right to your main home folder, this is what your default is. I'm going to hold Control and hit H, which will toggle your hidden. You could also go up to view I believe and show hidden files there as well. So what we're seeing here is inside of this folder we also see this thing here called icons. Alright so now this is where we're going to put our icons. So just drag this guy right on into here. Now we are going to do the same thing for our uh, for our individual um, uh, folder icons as well. So I actually already downloaded the Papyrus theme and inside of here there, uh, okay, oh yeah, there is an install script. So if I were to actually just bash this install script, it would actually automatically um, install this pack. Let me, let me open that up. Let me just have a quick look at it. No, I just want to display it. Thank you. We don't want to run it. See what it's doing. So it's just kind of telling us what to do. So it's downloading the information from GitHub. And then it notice that it's installing this into the USR share and icons pack. And it is installing uh, several different themes, the Papyrus, E-Papyrus, Papyrus Dark, Papyrus Light. And the other thing that it may do or it may not do, there's going to be one extra step. Uh, let me just see what we're doing. Those are various Papyrus folders. Okay, so here is your icon cache. This is what we have to do. Cinnamon does it a little bit different. And so I'm not sure if we were run this script if it would work right. Let me show you what I'm uh, talking about here first. So we're going to open this guy up. And we've actually added the mouse pointers. Actually, I'm going to have to close the system settings and reopen it since we just added that blue glow icon pack. So reopen our system settings. Go back into our themes. And then, oh really, it's going to make a liar out of me because that's where we should have that installed right now. I'm not sure what's up with this blue glow theme. So it is actually showing up in my menu now. Um, you can see though it's not really showing up like it should be showing up. Um, so what I end up doing is I downloaded this other one which is called Rage instead. Um, this, there's something goofy going on with this one now. And originally I thought it maybe it was packaged incorrectly um, in that it had the, it did not have this cursors folder and usually you would have this cursors folder to indicate which one's which. Uh, so let's just go ahead. You can see that when there is an icon pack that's installed and it's not set right, something's not working in it right, it goes back to whatever the system default is, which in this case is DMZ Black. 
So we're going to go ahead and ignore that one. You will occasionally find some things that just don't work right. Maybe it's not packaged correctly. Um, so I did, did download another one called Rage Cursor, and you can see that this one does actually work correctly. However, what you notice here under this mouse pointer is that we don't actually have a preview. We have the preview of the DMZ Black, we have the preview of the White, we have the preview of the Venom. Because I actually already fixed the Venom. Uh, we need to fix the Rage Cursor so we get the good preview for this. So in order to do this, this is where we actually, uh, this is something that's very specific to Cinnamon. We are going to have to go back into our system. So let's go ahead and find our, oh, this is why I hate these panel things. Why I set mine up like the old style. Um, anyway, uh, back down to our file system. Now here, we, what we have to do is we have to put a thumbnail cache file in the Cinnamon folder. So we are going to go down to USR, Share, and then we're going to find Cinnamon in this list. And then inside of Cinnamon, we have Thumbnails, and inside of Thumbnails, we have this one called Cursors. We're going to right-click Cursors and open as root because we have to be able to edit this file. So what you'll see here is these are the previews. This is the preview for the DMZ White, the DMZ Black. The Venom is the one that I actually put in here already. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to open up one of the cursors and we're going to save that as a PNG file and then we're gonna drop it into this thumbnail cursors. Now usually we're gonna find the basic arrow cursor this one, it's not apparently called arrow, and I'm not sure exactly which one it is. So what we can do is we can just kind of grab anything or just grab um, anything else that might look good. So this guy here is an arrow. I got this guy here to pick from. Let's go with this one here as it seems to match it. So we're going to go ahead and export this guy. And I'm just going to export it as rage-cursor. Do it in the exact same formatting that the uh, that the uh, file structure is. So in this case here, rage dash cursor, the image name should match the folder name. We're going to drag this guy over into our thumbnail cursors, and let's go ahead and close our settings, reopen our settings, and now in Cinnamon we should have a preview of that individual theme there. So let's come over here, and now you can see that that is what we put in. So we can see that we actually don't have one for the Oxy Neon Large. So let's go ahead and add one of those. Let's go into our Oxy Neon Large cursors, and let's just see if this one has an arrow. So this one does have an arrow. Let's go ahead and open this guy up, and we're going to export this down here, and we're just going to call this oxy neon dash large dot png back up a folder and we're going to drop this guy over here as well all right let's just double check if we may not even have to yeah i think we do have to restart the theme theme panel here to see that okay let's just restart the entire settings it might take a second to to get in there also just double check make sure I got that right oxy spelling is not my strong suit all right that should be there if it's not there yet then it'll probably be there next time we restart cinnamon okay so it's there now so now we can grab we can grab our themes. So now we have installed a theme and given us the uh, the default image that we want to show here inside of our cursor um, preview. Now, fortunately, you will be pleased to know that doing your icons is actually a little bit easier. In the case of the icons, we're still going directly here into the dot icons for the user or USR share icons for anything on the system. Now I've already downloaded the Papyrus theme 
and the papyrus theme here actually has four of these, like we already looked at that script. All I'm going to do is just grab these four folders and drag them over here. And we may not even have to restart this. We probably do, but yeah, we, we're going to have to. In fact, it's kind of frozen. It's like, what are you doing to me? Yeah, force quit. This, uh, this V-Box is not particularly stable, I'm finding. It's very slow and buggy. All right, go into Themes, and then now inside of our icons, now I will have my e-papyrus. We also have, we should have somewhere down here, our standard papyrus, our papyrus dark, and our papyrus light. Okay, so there is how we can do our icons. Now, notice that your icons don't need anything special. Those will automatically work. It's just that Cinnamon does need that special one for your mouse pointers. So this will apply if you find some really cool icon pack. Maybe you're on DeviantArt or something. You find a cool icon pack. Uh, so this one here, this Venom icon pack I picked up from DeviantArt. Um, of course, there's a lot of different things. So here's another one here. Once again, I just use the same same methodology. Let's see what we have with this archive here. Now, of course, be careful when you're just downloading random things um, to install. So in this case here, uh, you can see that we are getting um, two different zip files within this. I think that this guy is going to be just that basic picture. I like the gray ones. The blue ones are cool, but I kind of like the gray ones. So I'm just going to take the gray ones. And then this is also going to be a uh, tar. We're going to open this guy up and see what this looks like. So here we have cursor theme, cursor theme, cursors. What we are going to be missing, of course, is that uh, we are going to be missing that arrow. So let's go ahead and export this guy. Protozoa-gray dot png i'm just putting it in the in the root folder there that way it's easier to find close gimp i don't think i need that any longer i don't think i need any of those any longer okay so let's go i don't think i need that one Okay, so we're going here, we're going to drop protozoa gray into this one, into our icons. Of course, we do still need our system open back up. So let's go ahead and USR, cinnamon thumbnails, and then right click here, open this guy as root. And we're going to need this guy that we borrowed from that. Drop that into there. And now we should have that as a new icon theme as well. Not sure what's going on with my virtual machine. So it has been behaving buggy all day. This is the thing I don't like about changing my icon packs. I don't know what's what anymore. All right, here's your themes. And then in here, here's our protozoa gray. Ooh, it swims. Look at that. It's cool. I like it. It's animated. <laughs> All right. So there is installing themes and installing your cursors. If you find something online and it doesn't have an install script, that's how you can manually install it. Like I said, most of your distributions, it's going to be a very similar place. At least you put them. Things like GNOME, you have to make sure you install the GNOME tweak tools to be able to adjust the, um, the icons and such. Uh, most of the other ones, Mate, XFCE, Cinnamon, um, they will all have the ability to change them within the settings panel. I think Budgie does as well. And uh, Plasma, at least, they make it a little bit easier to install icon packs. But you may not find all of these on there, so you might still need to use this methodology to install your icon packs on Plasma. So thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you like more videos like these basic tutorials. I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.